Hi guys, Teresa from Rock On Mommies. Today I'm here to talk to you about flu prevention. Not only do we have the regular nasty flu virus this year, but we also have the H1N1 virus out there. Please make sure you check in the CDC website. There are updates almost daily. My daughter's pediatrician was nice enough to actually write an article for us about the differences and what to look for. But today, I'm going to talk to you about a flu prevention kit. It's nasty. The germs are declaring war on us this year, so we, we need to be ready for combat. First, you need the gloves. Go out, get yourself some gloves. Get more than one pair. They come in different colors, different styles. Leopard skin. They have the ones with the fur around the edge. The spot where they've drawn in the ring so people know you're married if you're married. They're perfect. You can push the shopping cart. You can chain your children's diapers. You can wipe their noses. You can go to the zoo. You can go everywhere. Don't worry about touching anything because you've got your gloves on. Best part, if you touch something really gross, you don't have to worry about washing your hands or doing anything with the gloves. Just throw them away. It's as easy as that. Also, who wants to be breathing this gross, nasty air? Not me. So you can go out and get yourself one of those, you know, medical masks. No, I did better than that. Go out and get yourself a full-on mask. Put it on. Pull the strap, just like on the airplane. Piece of cake. Now, I'm not breathing that air. Okay, so you don't really have to go that far, but there are some things you can do to prevent the flu. First, take your vitamins. Eat healthy. The basic stuff they've been telling us since we were little kids, it still holds true. The better you feel, the better your body, you're feeding your body, the better you're going to feel. Next, wet wipes, antibacterial wipes. These things are amazing. They fit in your cup holder in your car. Go to the grocery store, grab one out. When you get to the car, shopping cart, wipe the cart down. It's as easy as that. You can wipe your kid's nose. Ugh gross, wipe your kid's nose this season with them. This is the non-sticky formula. This is my favorite. I just happen to not like the stickiness. For those of you who do like the stickiness, they still come in a regular original formula and sensitive formula. I like these too. These, for those of you who read my blog a lot, know that I travel a lot. So these are always in my suitcase, always in my daughter's backpack. I have them with me everywhere because airports are Nasty. Another thing that's going on this year that I, well, I just learned about it last year actually, are these mists. They still have the antibacterial gels out there. I just, I think they're too thick and goopy. So I went ahead and I get packed, stocked up on the mist. They spray, they're fine. You spray them onto each hand. They don't leave too much of a residue. They're great for kids because you don't have to worry about them with all the extra gel on their hands. Piece of cake fits in my purse and gets through security. The other thing that I love, 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 love these are the Wet One Singles. These are great for when you're going to go out in the evening. They fit right into your small purses. And not only are they great for disinfecting things, when I was out with my husband on a date night the other night, he spilt soy sauce on his white shirt, popped out one of these, actually took the soy sauce out of his shirt. Now, I'm not claiming they're going to take the stains out of everything, they just happened to take the soy sauce out of my husband's white shirt. For those of you who know me might know that I absolutely hate soap dispensers in public bathrooms. They gross me out. I don't know why. They just do. Normally what I carry around with me are the little paper sheets of soap. I couldn't find anything any today or yesterday, but I will put a link on my website where you can get them. But you can also go to the travel section at your local supermarket or drugstore Pick up some body wash. This is perfect. Sticks in, stick it in your purse, and you can go ahead and wash your hands in the public bathrooms. Basic things like tissue paper, blowing your nose, throwing the tissue paper away, wiping your hands after that. These are basic, common sense things that you're going to need to use this year when protecting yourself against the flu and the H1N1. The other thing, this is very important. If your kids are not feeling well, if they have a fever, runny nose, don't send them to school. If you're not feeling well, if you have a fever, a runny nose, or any other flu symptoms, don't go out in public. I know we're all busy, I know we have busy lives, and it's inconvenient, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So, 
Good luck this year in your battle against the flu. I hope you make it out unscathed, and we'll see you soon.